Um, it was just another way uh, when we look at all of these different uh, monuments down here for us to not only recognize um, folks who have served for what they uh, and their great accomplishments, but it's also um, a way that we actually say thank you. Uh, these women weren't given the proper homecoming but um, that they deserved, but um, recently, not too long ago, uh, we erected this uh, monument here in Fort Leavenworth. And again, it was just our way of simply saying thank you. Just wanted to share uh, uh, a little bit more of the history from Fort Leavenworth. Yeah, this is down here again at the Buffalo Soldier um, Monument Park. Uh, another piece of history of this is the uh, monument that was erected uh, in honor of the 6th Triple Eighth uh, Central Postal Directory Battalion, um, African American women who uh, served in a time of war. And a hey, party people, uh, this is strictly for the one who um, says that they're saved and glad about it. Um, you know for a fact that hell can't have you. You know that uh, heaven is your home. Um, this is one of those types of messages. Um, Psalm 116 says, um, what can I offer to the Lord for all that he has done for me? Um, and then the writer says, I will lift up my cup, symbolizing his salvation. I will praise the Lord's name for saving me. It says, I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of his people. Um, I was riding to work this morning and I was talking to my uncle Ike as I do most of the time. And as I started to take off, I saw this beautiful rainbow. Um, it was so beautiful to the point that I stopped talking to him and I said, God, that is beautiful. And um, it's like this rainbow has so much beauty about it that it made me so grateful just to be alive. I was just thanking God for just being alive. Um, and it's funny because this morning my wife walked around the house this morning saying over and over again, thank you, Lord. She would walk through the house and just say, thank you, Lord. And I was thinking that all that my family has gone through over this last year, um, you know, and all the things that were still yet going through, it was just, she was so emphatically saying, thank you, thank you over and over again. And it made me think about Psalm 116. And we say that we are thankful and we say that we are grateful, but you know what? I, I, I asked the question so many times of God, how can I really express my gratitude to you? Um, so I asked you, how do we express our gratitude to our creator. And um, when I think of the atheists, you know, um, it's sad to say that when great times arises or when they see stuff like this, they don't have anyone to thank. Um, and um, and they don't know who to thank. You get what I'm saying? Because they ain't, they ain't got a clue. But the believer doesn't have that issue. We don't have that dilemma. So again, I'm talking to those who says that they're saved and those who say, yes, I'm definitely God's child. And so I read Psalm 116 and um, the question was asked, you know, you heard me read it before, but I'm a paraphrase. He says, man, what can I give a God that has everything? Um, how can I truly express my gratitude? Um, and as you go on, he came up with some pretty good stuff. You know, um, the first thing he says is I will lift up my cup. And um, this symbolizes um, what I would consider to be, he would participate in regular worship. That's what I got out of it. Um, you know, and um, he would participate in those things. And when you look at lifting up a wine glass or a cup, it symbolizes a deep heartfelt expression being given to someone. So that's the way I read that, like when a toast is made on a, a special occasion. So he says, I will lift up my cup. In other words, he says, I will participate 
in worship of my God. Um, ways we do it is um, when we pass up, you know, going to the golf course or, or some social event on Sunday to attend Sunday worship, or we pass up some other weekly uh, occurrence that's going on and, and we pass it up and, and instead we go into um, prayer service or being with the saints in, um, in prayer. Um, when we take communion outwardly, we express, you know, that um, we're, we're, we're excited over the fact that our sins have been forgiven through the ultimate sacrifice that was pray, uh, paid for us. Um, the second thing he did was, um, he says, I will praise the Lord for saving me. How many of you are truly grateful uh, for being saved? Do you know the direction that you were headed? Do you know the outcome that was coming to you prior to being saved? Um, and he says, um, he already said, um, when you look at this and you read 116, when you look at verse one, he had already said, I love the Lord because he hears me. Um, man, isn't it great to know that God hears you? So it is important for us to show our love through praising God. I mean, you want to know how you can show your gratitude? Then just praise the Lord. The third thing he said, and that's what I loved about this. It wasn't very long. He hit it. He says, I will keep my promises to the Lord in the presence of his people. He, uh, we know and he knew that God is a promise keeper. What the writer had done is he was remembering the times when God faithfully came through for him. How, can you remember a time when God faithfully came through for you? A time when you thought it was all over and he showed you, nah, I'm just, I'm just changing a chapter for you. Uh, he wanted folks to see his integrity and his devotion to God. And so I want you to know that's the same thing that we ought to be able to do and show. Yes, we can worship God on our own, but it is so much more special when we're doing it with God's children. It ain't nothing like being with your, with your siblings. I'm telling you. Um, and and it's it's when and when they see you repping. That's that's a beautiful way to show God how grateful you are when you're representing Him. So again, so how do we say thank you to the to the Creator? First of all, we need to worship God and and do it in an open uh, to show that you ain't ashamed. You get what I'm saying? Um, be grateful that you're saved. Start acting saved and start living saved and start talking saved. You get what I'm saying? Show it. Um, get with other believers and have regular praise parties in, in, in God's honor. You get what I'm saying? So I'm taking this time to do this in your presence as you look at this. I want you all to know that I am so grateful to God today. I'm so grateful that he saved me. I'm so grateful that he didn't give up on me like so many have done. I'm, I'm grateful that he didn't turn his back from me when I messed up. And even when I openly messed up intentionally, you get where I'm coming from? Um, for all that he's done and all that he's doing for me and mine. Um, I make a public declaration right now. I long to be in communion with the other believers. I, I really do. It's something about when saints get together. That is the reason why I have all the prayer calls. And that's the reason why I have all the different sessions um, where I'm meeting with believers, man. It's something when we get together in honor of our father. I have no problem with giving up my Sunday morning sports or fishing and, and stuff just to do uh, have a moment of worship with the saints. I really don't. I can't still do enough for uh, uh, to be able to say, Lord, I thank you, but I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to give it a good try. So again, I just wanted to say, um, you know, why don't you think about that today? I want you for the grateful folks, for the saved folks, the folks that are really thankful that God has taken care of them and that they're saved. Why don't you ask the question today, how can I really say thank you and then do something about it?